Hello fellow gamers, in today's devlog I will be adding stability to player structures. Now how exactly can we change the information within these tiles? Well we can use something called a dictionary. Now not a physical dictionary, but a digital dictionary. We have a customizable piece of data called a key, which can be used to access customizable information. We would use this dictionary by setting the key as the cell position in which we want to change and having the data as a list of the stability changes we want to make to that tile. What this all means is that there is a stability associated with each position. A tile would access its data by using its position as a key in the dictionary. If the key is simply not there, then the tile will read its stability as zero. Each tile will project its data onto adjacent tiles. The tile's own stability will be multiplied by certain constants in order to determine the amount of stability changes in each adjacent tile. Now enough with the technical talk, let's actually do it. Now as you can see, I already have a little bit of progress done in my game as I have the fundamental systems of player movement, inventory, and structure building, with the player being able to customize the material in which they build their structure out of. You can also see I have ground recognition with these structures. When they are touching a ground, they have 100% stability. Now I did not actually record myself doing this system, so here is an accurate representation. During the development of this system, I realized it would be a better idea to use dictionaries as the data of this dictionary, with the key being the adjacent tiles position, and the data from that dictionary in the dictionary being the affected stability. This is to make it easier to change that data during runtime if the adjacent tile stability is affected. After many hours of hard work, I did eventually complete the system and prevent it from backfeeding. But unfortunately, I had to scrap the system. Thank you for watching this short devlog and I'll post more in the future.